Who's ready for a tutorial of how to get mods for multiplayer and zombies for Call of Duty World at War PS3 USB no jailbreak? Let's get started. What is up guys? It's your boy Chaos Reloaded or Gavin here and I am here to bring you another mod tutorial of how to get a CFG mod menu or mod menus because there's multiple different mod menus in this patch that I'm going to show you here. And this is how to get it for Call of Duty World at War multiplayer and zombies. So first all you need the requirements all you need is to have the disc version of it has to be the disc version or it won't work with this you have to have the disc version of World at War a USB a PS3 a laptop or a PC and pretty much that's it so let's get started well we, we got World at War here but you don't have to do anything with World at War yet so let's go to the PC Okay guys, we are over on the PC. Now, I have the links that I'm going to, of the downloads in the description of the video, and these are the downloads. If you want, just like, what, if you wonder what these are right here, this, is, those are important. This is what's important. You take your Call of Duty World of War disc case and you turn it to the side, and you will see on the bottom, it would say letters and then numbers. Of course, mine says BLUS3092. I can get that. I can show you guys real quick. Right there. Focus camera. Right there. BLUS3092. 30192. Okay, then once you find out which one is yours, you click on that number and uh, you click on one of the media fires. If you have a, um, if you have a 30192 BLUS, cl just click this second one right here and download it. Then after you've downloaded it, download the mod menu. It's the exact same website. Download the mod menu. Okay. After you've downloaded both of the things, click and drag both folders to the desktop. To your desktop. And once you've done that, on both of these folders, you, would, you right click and it would say extract or extract all. Extract both of those folders. Now, what you do, you plug in your USB. Your USB has to have nothing in it at all. So when you go to your USB, it has to be the. It has to say the folder is empty. It has to say that. Now, what you do with that, you go to create folder. Then you just like how I type, you type in PS3. Give me a minute. PS3 just like that now go into that PS3 folder and click new folder and type save data just like how I have it so now if you went to your USB it would say PS3 you would go to save data and then there's nothing in there now after, since you extract both folders, what you need to do, open this folder, open the B, your CD folder, the one you downloaded that had, of the BLUS number, open that, okay? Make sure you are in your save data folder. Take this right there. 
take this folder click and drag and drop into your save data folder now go to the root of your USB flash drive which brings when you click on it which brings you here where it says just where it says PS3 okay now what you do here you open up the mod menu version of this okay and it would pop up like this now you click this it would show up three things highlight them then click and drag it would say a number three if you're doing it correct boom it should show just like that now exit exit both and then now Everyone, we will see you on my PS3. Okay guys, we are back on the PS3. Now take your flash drive and plug it into your USB port of your PS3, which is my PS3 is over here. And if you give me one moment while I plug it in, there. Make sure when you plug it into your PS3, it's you plug it into the USB port closest to your disk tray, which is your right USB port. Now, what you do from there is you go to this folder called Save Data Utility PS3. Go up to the USB uh, device and now there will be a saved game and player profile right here. Now copy Huh? You copy Well you do you hit copy and you it says this data will is the same data of the de destination do you want to override it? Yes. And you click keep on clicking uh yes now you load up word at war now hear me out guys let me listen or not let me listen listen guys this menu works for multiplayer and zombies but for multiplayer make sure you are the host of the game so if you're doing a multiplayer just it's probably easier just to do it in a private match. But if you did it right, it will pop up just like this. And then you hit exit and it would load. I'm going to just load up the zombies. And this mod menu works on every single map, map pack. So, what you do, you hit your select button, and it will pop up just like this. And there is one, two, three, four, five different types of menus you can use. I will go through each and every one of them in a different time, in a different video, and do a showcase. And uh, so be sure to check out each of those videos. I'm just going to do a video on just each one. I ain't going to do it all in one because it will probably take too long. I'll just do a video for each menu set. Now what you do, just to show, I'm going to also show you that it will work for online multiplayer as well. So all you got, make sure you keep your USB always, even though... You, you probably like, oh, I copied it to my PlayStation, yes, but still, you have to have your USB still in, just like the Modern Warfare 2 mods. You go to play to play online, right? I'm just going to go to private match so I can be host, so it would work. On multiplayer, there's actually a lot of different mod menus. There's more than five. I'm pretty much there's like eight or nine of them. Maybe seven, eight or nine of them. I'm not sure, but let's get into it. 
Boom. Alright, now you do the exact same thing. Oh, I'm joking. Click D-pad up for online multiplayer. And here is the different menus right here. It says Custom Binds Green Water, King Falcon Version 2, King Max Flashing Lights, Blue Mods Blue and Yellow V5, Silent Assassin V3, Smiley's uh, Mod Menu, Sour Diesel 1.7, Sox's V2, and Zerk's Mods. These are online mods, yes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this mod tutorial. And... If this helped you out, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment what, what menu is your favorite. Alright, and I will see you guys in the next video or videos. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, as well as... I am sponsored by cinchgaming.com, so use code CHAOSFPS for 5% off your any of any purchase, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.